Good morning my friends, it's the 11th of November 2015. It's Mr. Max Bliss in the southwest of France and of course I've been documenting and recording, observing strange goings on in the skies. These things that we never used to see before. Not because we weren't looking but because they weren't there. You've got organized groups like Contrail Science and Metabunk trying to debunk anyone who tries to uh, share their concern about chemtrails, about geoengineering, about climate intervention, about climate engineering, about weather modification, about the misuse of science in our atmosphere to force weather and climate. Well, as you can see, we've got some amazing things going on here in the sky. And no doubt you'll get people like Ross Marsden who pretends to be uh, some concerned citizen who cyber stalks anybody who talks about chemtrails and uh, doggedly um, um, basically trolls people. He's along with Mick West, Michael Glynn and um, Jay Reynolds and all these other uh, key senior people from Metabunk. They deliberately try to stem the flow of information and stem people's concern that our governments may actually be already geoengineering, climate engineering our atmosphere. All we have to do is look up into the sky and see these incredible sights to realize our governments are working together to deliberately affect our climate, our weather, so that they can con the masses into believing we have an anthropogenic global warming theory that is supposedly warming the environment. Even though we've been warmer many times before in the past and that we had no catastrophe that they try to hype up that they say is coming, we are facing a massive political change a massive political change that will affect society profoundly in a negative way. We're talking about massive increases in carbon taxes. We're talking about changes to the monetary system. We're talking about a shift towards a zero carbon emissions society. Well, just think about what a zero carbon emissions society actually means. All the tractors driving around in a field depend on diesel carbon-based fuels. We are looking at a takeover of the world, a one world government for the new world order. And you've got people like uh, Mikhail Gorbachev, who spoke in 1996, that the threat of climate uh, disaster will be the international disaster key to unlock the new world order. And I'm rather frustrated that we can witness such incredible things in the skies and you've got these fools or trolls or paid shills to actually um, harass people online and say, oh, everything you're seeing is normal. Debunk, 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 debunked. It's outrageous. These people are literally um, part of the problem. They are supporting these governments who are doing these, um, these programs that obviously many governments have to be in agreement to, for these programs to go on. They have to um, literally be um, turning a blind eye. There's big changes in flight patterns. There's uh, massive increases in these contrails. We know they affect the climate. That part is not up for debate. Many scientists now are realizing this massive increase in um, these contrails and these contrail cirrus clouds and these changes to um, what we're seeing in the sky is affecting the climate. It can uh, trap in heat, therefore it's exacerbating the, the, uh, the insulation effect that they're saying uh, greenhouse, glasses, uh, greenhouse gases are responsible for this supposed warming. Don't forget we've only had 0.8 of 1 centigrade 
warming since the Little Ice Age, or it's also the Little Ice Age is also known as pre-industrial times. But we know you've got um, different types of materials that can change the shape of these ice crystals, these supposedly harmless ice crystals. You've got things like bismuth triiodide, which will change the shape of the ice crystals because the scientists are looking at different chemicals they can introduce to cirrus clouds to deliberately affect the radiation of the sun's energy, the, 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 in, the incoming radiation. So we know that ice crystals can be shaped. We also know that there are nanoparticles that can go into the atmosphere and they can be um, deliberately engineered to not only warm, uh, uh, cool the planet by scattering away light using a photophoresis effect where you've got two types of metal, aluminium and barium, on the same type of particle and they will then um, angle themselves in the atmosphere to scatter away light. Well, according to Edward Teller in his 1997 paper, you can also use the same technology to deliberately warm the planet. Now you've got papers um, organized, um, written in the past, many investigations from the past on how to deliberately warm the climate. Going back, uh, the interest in warming the climate goes back uh, at least 150 years. And it was seriously still talked about how to deliberately warm the climate up until the mid 70s. By the National Academy of Sciences. These different groups that were set up with the sole purpose, they were set up because the US military wanted to find a way to um, standardize and legitimize weather and climate modification technologies. So they wanted to use the sciences to legitimize it. One only has to start doing some research and this information is out there. And it's a disappointment but confirmation that groups like Metabunk and Contrail Science still refuse to acknowledge the history of our government's interest in this project, the changes we see in the sky is confirmation that their programs didn't just go away because of the NMOD treaty. In fact, they just went a little bit underground and they are being used to deliberately make changes to our environment they're making extremes of weather, they can create droughts, they can create floods, they can create storms, and they can make it warmer. They can do targeted ozone depletion. They can make atmospheric lenses in the sky. Oh, debunk, debunk, debunk. Yeah, okay, I'm sick and tired of the shill groups, Metabunk and Contrail Science. Give us a natural explanation, Mick West, Ross Marsden, uh, Jay Reynolds, Michael Glynn, and the rest of you shills for what's happening here in the sky. And normalize it, you fools. Normalize it. Because it's a joke. Our governments are trying to implement a one world government. And one of the major stepping stones is the United Nations climate treaty they want to sign in Paris in a few weeks time. This is a major stepping stone towards the end of any freedoms we enjoy. Our, our status as free range slaves is about to come to an abrupt end and they're going to move us on to electronic money and it's going to be linked to climate change, to carbon. They have got massive plans in store with the United Nations post-2015 agenda and the United Nations Agenda 2030, the extensions of the long plans of sustainable development. These plans are awful for people. They try to wrap them up and greenwash everything to make it sound like it's all great for the planet. 
what would be great for the planet is everybody woke up and realised our governments are working together to control our weather and climate and calm the masses into capitulation, into acquiescence. It's not on. We do not consent to this. Many people are waking up and this just has to stop. If we have to remove our governments and sack them, if we have to change the constitutions of various different countries, so be it. If we have to disband the United Nations or radically reform the United Nations so that nations can maintain their sovereignty and have the freedom to make choices, an informed choice, because we need to educate people with the truth, not propaganda and lies. Big changes are coming, and those big changes will be up to we the people if we surrender and capitulate and acquiesce to these uh, despotic oligarchy that string pull all the governments then uh, then we've given up and it may as well be bloody suicide you know uh, I think it's time to stand up and be counted and realize we're all equal human beings all of us we are all equal human beings and we deserve freedom we deserve to use and engage our willpower our freedom of choice not be dictated to by an overpowering, tyrannical, totalitarian government system for the oligarchy to have total control. It's not on. So I urge everybody to research and learn all you can about this and confront and contest the climate change lies. Confront your representatives. Do not allow these lies to prevail. Lift the veil of deception and stop this. It's up to us, we the people. Take care and bye for now.